Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf here at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van Bay, joined by Emma Carpenter. Emma is a member of the Minnesota women's golf team, and we're gonna do a driver comparison today. We've got a current gamer of Emma's and then an older one that's nearly 15 years old here. So, uh, Emma, first of all, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me. What, first of all, tell people about your current driver. So um, basically over the years, I've just always kind of upgraded to a new driver based on the new technology that yeah. was coming out and how my swing had evolved and changed as I've gotten stronger. Yeah. So what worked the best for me in terms of dispersion mm -hmm. and in terms of you know length. So um, <clears throat> right now I got the TSR two head uh, with nine degrees of loft. Uh, before I had the TSI mm -hmm. and then uh, years before I just kind of just been getting the newer, newer technology over the right. years as it made more sense. Yep. The shaft that I got here. That's the Tour AD. Yeah, like that's, I know that's a, it's kind of one of the premium options in the TSR2 line. So yeah. um, not messing around, I guess, with, with the driver setup for Emma here. No kidding, no um, kidding. And the fun part is that we get to test this against what I have here. We just grabbed it from the, the floor here at, at Second Swing Minnetonka, Titleist 910D2. So this would have been probably a 2009-ish uh, you know, production or release, right, from Titleist. Um, I guess, very first impression, first of all, this is nine and a half degrees aloft, that's nine, so there might be slight differences there. They didn't actually do standard nine degrees back then, so things have changed, right? But mm -hmm. first, looking at this driver, Emma, what, <laughs> what, what do you think is gonna happen here? Yeah, I don't, I mean, it's funny, looking at it, like, almost brings back some memories, because I know that I've seen, I never had yes. this exact one, it's obviously an older Titleist head, compared, I love Titleist drivers, um, before I actually used Cobra Driver for a really long mm. time, before I switched okay. to Titleist, loved it, but um, eventually just upgraded as, as I got older right. and stronger. But so looking at it, it brings back some memories. I remember I had a lot of, a lot of friends, a lot of buddies who used this one, um, but it's gonna be interesting. I just have a feeling it's not gonna go quite <laughs> as well as my gamer, but yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah. I mean, this, <laughs> when I was like 13, 14, all the people I played against in junior tournaments had one of these, and I really wanted one at the time. All the cool uh, kids had them? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but we're gonna see exactly kind of how much things have changed over the last, I guess, 15 years. So, Sweet. Um, without further ado, Emma, you wanna hit some bombs here? Let's do it, Drew. Okay. Wow. All 274. right. 274, carry 144, swing 101. That 151 smash factor is very uh, interesting. <laughs> All right. It's very efficient. Another one. All right. Not too bad. A little bit of spin there, but you know, that's. It's That'd one of those tee shots on the golf course. You're gonna be like, you gotta feel it, and you're gonna say, "Oh, that wasn't perfect." Yeah, contact, that's but that's it's one of probably those probably ten yards shorter than you would have otherwise. Exactly, hit. exactly. That's like a miss, just like a little bit high right. But I mean, like on yeah. the golf course, like that's still gonna be in the fairway. Right. Yep, that's totally something, in play. That's something that I loved when I got fit for this driver. Was like most of all above everything, my misses were yeah. like not that's, nearly as bad. That is exactly what the modern drivers last couple of years are doing way better is. Miss just it. the dispersion, which is what you need, you know? Oh, that ball speed went up. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. There's, a, there's a good swing. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. Just a little baby cut. I'm, I'm actually kind of perplexed by your your smash factor just being over 1.5. <laughs> yeah, telling you, this thing works. This thing works. Clearly, you're hitting, and you're also hitting it like right in the center. I just... I'm, I'm anticipating not getting one five zero with the old driver. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It just the, it's the ball speed, but also the dispersion. That that was exactly what we looked at when I when I got mm -hmm. the T TSI TSR two, because I was swinging them, you know, back to back. Obviously, it's not like it's on different days, right. different tournament adrenaline or anything like right. that. Like I was swinging my old driver like around ninety nine, and then picked up this driver head and was immediately swinging it like a couple miles an hour faster. So that one's, yeah. you know, 102.6 when before I was kind of like, I'd have to really, really, you know, swing hard at it to get it in the hundreds. But they said something about the aerodynamics of the new head. Yeah, no, like, they, they've, had, they've definitely cleaned it up. As you can see in the past 
several you know titleist uh i guess driver head generations there's just a little bit more going on on the bottom of the club head yeah and because of that it was a little bit more resistant but right and again these are fractional differences but someone right. of your caliber any mile an hour that you can get you're going to take right 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 let's see if i can let's see. so that was a little cut let's see if i can get the ball to draw draw for me oh, that should draw Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, someone is in, in command of their golf sport. <laughs> wow, that was, that one was good. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. All right, we got four good swings up there. It's a pretty darn good dispersion. It's funny because if you, if you start hitting the ball really good, you like the dispersion looks like it kind of looks like a big oval on there, but then you realize the scale is basically everything's inside about 20 yards up here. Right, just that, just that one miss a little, that little high right, but right. And that, that was one... again. That was uh, you still hit it really efficiently. Mm -hmm. um, it was just not exactly perfect, and you know, that's one you're gonna, you're still gonna be in the fairway. You're still gonna have a really good look at the green, and then the other three are just absolutely smashed right down the middle. So yeah, so a little, little, yeah, one high cut, one longer draw. Let me hit one more, Drew. One more. You, okay, we're, yeah. Let me hit one more. Getting greedy here. <laughs> see, see if we can get it any better. So what was what was the last one? What do I need to beat? I think it was one. Uh, what what number are you looking at in particular? The is it the one that's just left? I think it's this one. This yeah, is the one, one that you just hit. Okay, so 282 total. That you're trying to beat is 282. Or that's 283. what I'm trying to beat. This one's 283, but. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The cut actually went a little bit further. The draw carried for. No, yeah. I, they, no, it didn't. That's okay. Oh wow. The spin oh. went down. <laughs> the spin went down. Got it to 286. All righty. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got some numbers here. So this is kind of what we're gonna set the bar at for the old driver. Okay. Right. An average total of 279.4, and then a carry of 252.9. Pretty good spin number two. And I mean your smash factor too. We should look at this. 151, 1150, 151, 148. Jeez, what'd you do on this one? Did I know, just, right? Like, this is a just bad shake one. It or something? <laughs> and then uh, one five zero on that one. Sweet. Pretty and darn good. All like dispersion wise too. Well, and I noticed my club speed too. Like that was uh I'm interested to see because you know they, they talked about the club head just being yeah. able to travel faster. So I'm interested to see if my club speed actually goes down with this. I think it will for a couple of reasons. One, this well, let's see here. This shaft is a little bit heavier. Okay. Um this is a sixty three gram, so it's a it's a Project X extra, or not, sorry, stiff shaft um, from back, kind of one of the offerings with this driver back then. So it's a little bit heavier than that one. Mm -hmm. So I think just by nature, you're going to swing this a little bit slower. Okay. Uh, but to see how much slower, I think it's, but that's going to be more related to the shaft, I think, than the club head. Mm -hmm. But I think the performance on maybe not dead center contact is what I'm really going to be curious about here. Got it. And dispersion wise, too, they're all within. Yeah, you know I mean, that, that's what I'm interested to see too. Like, looks like f five yards left, fifteen yards right was my was my biggest yeah. miss. I mean, that's the the cool thing was that you on command were just like, let me just hit a draw, and then you hit a draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I would say uh, I would say driving the golf ball has definitely been my strength over the years for me i feel like i've been a little bit of a streaky putter working with larry has helped me a lot with yep. that um but uh, i would this is definitely what i what i count on on the golf course for sure okay. for sure so we'll see that's why it was important to do all these upgrades over the years yeah. because it was like i mean if we can get it to go straight i didn't really need the length um it was just more so about like how can we tighten in that dispersion? Sometimes under pressure, I have a little bit of a left miss, mm -hmm. and something about that shaft with the with the way that the weight is distributed mm -hmm. in the head, it was like swinging it faster was just a plus, but the shaft actually as well um, just really helped with, yeah, the, I mean, with the way that it works. It's allowing you to kind of just stand up there and rip it, and right. you don't have to think about anything else. Which right. Is, right. At that level, at the level you're playing at and competing at, like that's what you want. So, all right, here's the the nine ten D two. This should be interesting. Oh, all right. It's actually a really good drive. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it on the course. Yeah. I mean, so because here's what's going to happen. I think your ball speed and smash factor are going to go down regardless because yeah. there's just less pop 
off of this driver being that it's 15 years old. Right. You're not going to get the 1.50 smash factor, but that is a really good tee shot, actually. Um, that's really good. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. I'll be surprised if you get it much further than that with this driver. Yeah. But I mean, that's, but, that's 20 yards. <laughs> like, that's, I, that's true. It is it's a big yards. difference. 20 yards, you know, that's, that's hitting nine iron instead of seven iron. <sighs> that doorbell in the background. <laughs> yeah. A lot higher that time. Yeah. That, are these feeling like good contact or not? Yeah, no, the, both of those felt good. Okay. Both of those did feel good. Because I, I think, I, I don't want to put, uh, I guess, words in Titleist's mouth or overstep what I need to be saying or not. But <laughs> I feel like in the past, the criticism of Titleist drivers has been that they spin a little too much. Oh. And so with the last couple of, of generations, they've done a really good job of um, bringing that spin rate down. Mm -hmm. And because of that then, the ball will travel a little bit further and also right. go a little bit cleaner through maybe windy right. conditions. Because we so. want that high launch low spin. Yeah, that's kind of the that's the goal that every manufacturer is striving for. So the last couple of series with Titleist have been really good with that. There we go. There's that 99.8. Yep. My my biggest swing with that one was 104. I think mm -hmm. 104.7 or 104.2. Yep. Let's see. That was. I mean, that was pretty much a. That was just like the slightest cut. Let's see if I can hit a draw with this one. Oh, I think that's going to be a push. Hit the screen a little oh, bit right, yeah. Oh, no. Well, see, that's oh, kind of the, so that that is the big kind of point you need to make here a little bit in regards to the miss hits. Yeah. Here, I'll oh, show, I'll no. Show. But, yeah, so, I mean, you know, I, I don't, did that swing feel like it was that much worse than everything else? It did, I mean, it definitely felt like, it, it felt like I it pushed it. It yeah. felt like I pushed it a little bit, but, I mean... It says something that, you know, we got one, you finally got one sort of not great swing, right? Your right. first two swings were awesome, they're right down the middle. And then you make a, a slight error in the swing and it goes way down here. Your spin goes up over 3,000. Yeah. You know, so right. you get that ball going like this. So that's super high. So compared to, you know, that first one that I hit with my other driver, it was probably a very similar swing. The yeah. one on the right mm -hmm. there. Yep. So right. instead, like, of, instead of over 3,000, your kind of higher spinny drive is at yeah. 2,800, and it's still only 15 yards right of the center line. Yeah, I mean, this one's over here. that one, the club face was open just a touch more, okay. but still, like, that's, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, that's 20, 25 yards right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's so disappointing. Same thing. All right. Yeah. Well, this is why your driver is not. A this is why driver. I have the other one in the bag. Yeah, look at that. All right. Same spot, exact same spot. So you've got two. Your miss, your, your miss with this driver anyway seems to be kind of what, about 15 yards short and about 30 yards right. That's crazy. That just shows how much technology is changing, man. Yeah, I mean. How did those guys hit it with those little wooden clubs back? <laughs> It does make you wonder. I've, I've had that same thought myself. Here, I'll give you a better visual to line up at here. Oh, felt like I towed that a little bit to force it closed. Okay. All right. It's interesting you say that because typically when you hit it towards the toe, the spin actually goes down. Spin goes down. And that's what happened. And it's bent down a little bit, but yeah. it's still up there towards 3,000, right? And if we kind of look at... I mean, your average with the TSR2 was still 24, 29. Yeah. And then with your the old one, it was still up towards 3,000. So kind of to that point about the spin rate. Right. It's still, uh, anyway, with this older driver, that's spun a little bit much compared to other drivers out there. Yeah. But okay, let's, let me try one more. One more. One let's more. See if I can get this, get this going a little bit closer to the, to the other one. Test the theory. Oh, face. It's probably going to be one of my better ones in terms of like, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so now we have introduced a new miss to the dispersion chart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to show it to you. Wow. Well, um. But you mean, you got three out of six are just awesome, right? Yeah, here. the first three were good. Still not nearly as good as my, my other driver. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Well, this is, I mean, this is the difference. Again, this is like. Emma's got a very good golf swing and plays at the highest level of 
um, college golf. So, but there's something there about if you're a player, you know, you've got a driver that's 10 to 15 years old, and there's a lot out there, right? And you're playing a lot of golf. You play maybe once a week even. Um, you are missing out on probably 10 to 15 yards, and then your misses are also going to be a lot better with something modern compared to, again, this is a maybe extreme example, but something that's that's amazing a decade plus old. That's amazing. Well, and I mean, definitely a small piece of it too. It could be like not used to this one, used to that yeah, one, yeah. a little and, more and, comfortable. Yeah, of but, course. And the yeah. shaft is different, right? I mean, you had a, you got a yeah, right. you know, premium I graphite design. Definitely don't want to say, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a person swinging it. Don't want to say that this, this club isn't any good. This club is a great club still, but definitely there's a reason why, why I have this one. That's crazy. All of the numbers, club speed, ball speed, smash. Yep. Yep. I mean, there's a reason you're playing a TSR2 and not something different. Than that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, there's nothing. I mean, I'm looking at both your numbers and this white circle. Like, there's yeah. nothing more you would want. No, no, so. there's really not. Well, and even too, if you look at like the the average path and face, like I, it's not like I was just like generally swinging this worse. Like it was all no. pretty square. No, no, That's not at all. I mean, you're you're you're, you're pretty much by the, you know they call it zeroing out, right? If your club yeah. path and your face angle are near zero, right? Um, and you're near zero on all of them, right? Right. On, on each one, so it's not nothing to do with that. Right. I right. am interested. In, it's I'm, I'm, It's a little weird. It might be the shaft, but the the launch was much higher with the the older driver. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that's could be related to a lot of different things. And is but. that launch? Is that 11, 11.1, Is that good still? It's still good. Okay. It's a little bit low, but it's not like it's it's still. I mean, look at where your shots went, right? I mean, right. You're, you're still carrying the ball. 10 yards, 10 yards further than the right, other, so. right. Even with the lower launch, you know, still it's not like it it, yeah, with the lower launch. So, can I can I pick up this one one more time for good measure and let's see, just make yeah, sure. Yeah, just I rip one right away with the other one. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. Oh wow! So it picks up the uh, the current gamer. Hits that it to an eighty four point eight. <laughs> you actually launched it back towards it. May have been, may, it may have been sort of just as you've swung the, a, a driver more today, you're kind of picking up a little bit more yeah, launch capabilities. Yeah, but that one, same thing, like just like a little cut. Like yeah. that that swing actually felt really similar to the ones that I missed a little bit right with that one. Okay. But in the dis oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's still up here. Yeah, geez. All Why right. do you think that was farther right? Than Kinda, that? yeah. Like yeah. I was like, oh, like I kind of missed that a little bit right, like similar to how I missed those two on the right. Yeah, there. I mean, what we can actually do, and I know depending on the fitter, they like to kind of have fun with um, the map here. What we can do is pick different holes. And oh, and, and see like see if I hit the fairway? the fairway? If it's actually on the fairway, so. Uh, yeah, you're still in the fairway. Jeez. You got, obviously these ones, this one's out of bounds over here. <laughs> <laughs> that one, do you think it, do you think that the left part of that bunker is just 100% like this? Well, I guess, yeah, they, the ball, the bunker probably would have stopped that ball in real oh life. Oh my god! But gosh. I think left of the bunker, we're treating no, it. No, it up. landed left of it. Probably would have kicked so. OB for sure. We're, we're reloading with that one. Yeah, but there's our, uh, there's our comparison. I mean, I think the data speaks for itself and I think the way you're also giving feedback on the feel and, and the performance of each as well kind of speaks for itself. 100%. Um, I, first time I tested this out, I remember being like, ah, oh, like that one wasn't so good. And then the numbers came up and I was like, oh, wait, it was actually still yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah, ball's still in the fairway. The ball's still 280 yards out there or more. Um, pretty good stuff here. Pretty good stuff. So it kind of, I think to your point, it speaks to getting fit as well. Because it's not just that, you know, we get the newest driver, but it also sort of fits your swing and what you're looking to do on the golf course as well. Right. So mm -hmm. um, golfers, make sure you get fit like Emma has. Um, uh, if you haven't yet, also, speaking of Emma getting fit, check out our video from about a year and a half ago with the new hybrid. Absolutely. Uh, Larry fit Emma for a hybrid. Otherwise, um, schedule a fitting for yourself, new drivers. There's a ton of great options out there. Uh, so get yourself dialed in off the tee. Emma, thank you for joining. This was fascinating stuff here and really good information. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, super interesting. A lot of fun. Always love learning more about why I got what I have in the bag and kind of what's to come in the future as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun.